In this lesson, let's go and learn about the Android service lifecycle. So basically, like any other core components of Android, Android service has its own lifecycle. So let's go and see in this lesson that how a lifecycle of a service look like when we start a service. So basically that when we call a start service method, we call the start service method and it will trigger an onCreate method. And after onCreate method, it will create an onStart command. And this is a place where we'll be running our service, like whatever logic we have, we'll be running inside this the onStart command. And we can also make use of a trade or a async task, which is a background task, and run all of our code. And after we have finished running of all of our required logic, then we can make use of stuff self, which we can call it to stop of our service. So if, to, if we want to stop a service, then we call a stop self method to stop our service. This can be called automatically after we successfully complete running of our service or else we can uh, manually call by a a trigger by our button call or a client can manually trigger self or stop self method to stop of our service. And when we call a stop self method, then it will call an on destroy method. So on destroy method is the final phase of our service. It will shut down our service. So let me go through one more time. We call a start service to start our service. And when we start the service, it will trigger on create. And after on create, it will go to a on start command. And this is a place where we put all of our logic, whatever code we want to run, we will be running on our on start command. And then after our service is successfully running and completed all of our tasks, we may we, we wish to call a stuff self to stop a service. And after we call a stop. Self, uh, this will stop the service and it will trigger on destroy and this is the final phase of our service and on destroy will shut down of all of our running services. So hope you guys had some basic understanding over here and how the service lifecycle look like and you have some theoretical knowledge now and on the next lesson we'll go and see about in a practical way to how to create a service so I will see you in the next video. Till then, have a great day.